What's up, everybody? What's up? What's up? What's pop locking in the mayonnaise sandwich? This is Afro. Just saying, like a TIS, like always. And, uh, and I wanted to sit here and talk about this whole soldier named Rob O'Neill. He, he said he, I know I'm late on him, but he said that he said that he killed Osama bin Laden. And it kind of got me questioning, it's like, why would a man like him say something like that and actually telling off every mission he did, knowing that since he's a Marine, not a Marine, but a Navy SEAL, that you don't tell your missions off. And that was, like, to me, that's like, even some of the guys that was in, some of the people that's serving never told what missions they went on because it's against whatever code or bylaws they have in service. You can't tell what mission. It's like in the CIA. You can't tell people what you're doing. I was like, the last time that, well, actually, the last time somebody did that, it was my coin. This guy right here was on 60 seconds selling people. He raided Osama Bin Laden's building. And what happened to him, he's dead. The name is Mark Owens. Owens. He's dead now. Right after he did that whole 60 Minutes episode, he got, he got killed. Mark Owens and five other guys was killed because they <laughs> raided Osama Bin Laden's place. He died after 60 minutes and five other guys died after him. Nobody didn't know that. Nobody didn't know that. Nobody did this. Nobody knew that this guy died after that shit. Died after that 60 minutes interview. Nobody. No fucking body. And this. I'm sitting up here when I'm looking at this guy, Rob O. Rob O'Neill. And he's telling people, oh, I killed Osama Bin Laden. Why would you do that? Why would you put your your life, your family's life, and your friend's life in danger with that shit? This guy already did. He's dead and gone. And he was, in, and he was with you. When I sit there and I was like, six of some motherfuckers got killed. Because they, like, they, this guy told me, oh, we ready to hear the place. He's, well, this guy's wearing makeup. Anyway, this guy, this Mark Owens guy, is wearing makeup. He got killed because he thought he ready the place. And he's going to die. I was like, that's a damn death certificate if I ever saw one. That you want to die. You want to be dead. Rock around telling people, oh, I killed or something like that. Why would you say shit like that? Why would you say shit like that? Why would you walk around telling people you killed Osama Bin Laden? Knowing that six other people that was in your, in your squad or rolling with you on that night to go get him. Why would you come out of the woodwork saying, I killed Osama Bin Laden, or oh, this will happen on other missions I did, da 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 Why would you say that? That's the worst thing you can do, is tell people that shit. Knowing that someone's going to come after you and kill you, too. That's, 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 that's the stupidest shit i ever seen for a person to... to to be in the service just to tell people, oh, I killed Osama Bin Laden, knowing that there was going to be a price on your head, too. This is do his thing. Some, see, when he said something, I knew someone right. I knew someone right. But he sat there and told people, I killed Osama Bin Laden. Oh, and this is what we did on other missions. And that's one thing I never got, never understood.
to do. Some and everyone's to do. Some soldier is gonna walk around saying he he killed or something like that. Not knowing he's gonna get killed himself. Y'all probably sit up in one and say, What the fuck you talking about, Afro? No, 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 no. What I'm talking about is this. This guy was a Marine. It was a known Navy SEAL. He went on 60 minutes talking about him, him and his team went and raided Osama bin Laden's death. I mean Osama bin Laden's place. He said that on 60 minutes. And after that interview, after that interview, he did. After that interview, he did. He was found dead. He was shot and killed. He didn't commit suicide. He was killed. Now, this was a Navy SEAL killed in his own home. And five other, five other SEALs was killed, too. Because they spoke of this guy wrote a fucking book talking about how they raided his place. How did he raided raid his place and how uh, uh raided his place and other shit. I was like, man, I was like, that is some, that's some shit. You write about these missions in a book so you can get it. I said, either these motherfuckers are stupid or they just ignorant shit. That's what I thought. Now this dumbass is doing it. You gonna kill yourself because you wanna be famous. Is that what it is? This dude wanna be so fucking famous he went on national TV telling people he killed him something in line and knowing that he's gonna die too. That, that's ignorant. It's ignorant. It's ignorant shit. It's like me telling people I fuck Kim Kardashian. And that's really my baby. It's like me saying that shit without getting my ass whipped. Well, it's like me saying that without getting my ass whipped. Well. That's just ignorant shit. That's one thing I will never do is sit there and say shit like it, knowing they could have put my family's life in danger. Put my my life and my family's life in danger. <laughs> to tell people I killed the most world the world's dangerous man. That's ignorant shit to say and do. That's ignorant shit to say and do. And I still wonder, why would you, why would you say that? Who, who the hell are you trying to impress? That's the number one thing I want to know from this guy. Who are you trying to impress with this shit? You know, six other motherfuckers are dead because of this shit. One guy sit there and like, sorry, one guy said he wrote a book. He's, and he's dead. And six and five other people that was in your squad is dead too because of this shit. But for you to put your shit out like that, you really tell the world something. You really tell the world something. You really want to die quick because of this shit. That's, that's just fucked up. But this is after, tell me, this has been after a show. Tell me what you
what you think. Do you think he's doing this for publicity, for publicity to get an audience just to get people to like his ass? Or do you think he's trying to do something? But it's like he is. I think he's full of shit, but that's my opinion. Follow me on Twitter at AfroJoeTheWookie. Subscribe to my channel, CeeloGen2, CeeloGen3. And follow me on Tumblr. And tell me what you think. Is he full of shit or what? Peace out.